Hi guys, welcome to Shelley Stone Art Gallery. Uh, today I am going to be teaching you um, how to make these beautiful vases that you get at the Dollar Tree store. Um, here's one that's already made. They're very simple, very quick. There's a succum on top. Did you buy at the Dollar Tree as well? And a bow. You can make all of this for under $5. So easy, so simple. Okay, we're gonna get started. Okay, first of all, what I did, okay, in this one, you get, you're gonna need to buy, let me take this out so I can show you. You need to buy a set of these. I buy two sets, I believe I bought two, just to be on the safe side. They come in a package with multiple colors. Blues, purples, greens. Okay, you're gonna need a vase. Usually the Dollar Tree around Christmas time, they sell green and red um, for Christmas colors. So I recommend, you can do any color, but I recommend the Christmas color. See, this is a Christmas craft. Um, okay, so then the mini bows. You're going to need a package of these. Oh, for some reason, the top got cut off. This is by Craft. I'll, I'll get it the correct name and put it in the supply list. But I think it's called Craft Square. And um, I don't know why that's cut off. Um, so the mini bows, you need that. Um, need some ribbon. A second. Okay, so ribbon that beads, this, some red ribbon. If you want green and you want a green bow, whatever you want that's Christmassy, um, you need thin, the thin one, not the thick one. Uh, I guess this is the Dollar Tree as well. So you need that. Uh, get yourself some little red little, these are um, made out of metal. Um, I forgot what they're called, but that's what you're gonna use the top of the succum. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'm gonna put that on the top like that, okay? Okay, um, so with this one, as you can tell, um, the beads are not all cut up. I, you can take your beads like this and put one in at a time. You can just put them all in, one after the other. You're gonna wanna, you don't wanna put the same color. Okay. So that's a red, you know, maybe use a blue, put it in, a green, and you fill it all the way up to the top. And then it comes out like this. And you put the suck them in. And then you just tie it with a bow. I usually put a little glue. That's how easy this is. Okay. So we're going to put that one aside. When, what I'm doing today that's different is I kind of want a different look this time. It's from my last project. I don't know how I got that popcorn filler. That I call it. It's from my last project. Thought I cleaned it all up. Apologize. Okay, so I started already cutting beads. And what you do? Just fold them up. Fold your beads up. Be very careful when you do this that you don't cut your fingers. Now do it like a couple layers together and just go over cut it I, I I just cut like two or three sometimes even four whatever it gets and the cut and I don't I don't want them too long mix them all in that's all you do just keep cutting perfect cup or you could do it, like I said, with the other one and just 
Just put them all in at once. Oops, just accidentally cut my finger. Thanks. Not too bad. I got it. Uh, so just hang it over. Look like that. Just hang it over. Yeah, be careful not to cut your finger. <laughs> Like I just did. Yeah, it's better to just double it up. You don't want to put too much together because then you can't cut through with it with the um, scissors there. Okay. Do this, and I'll be back. I'm going to close it. That's what you're going to do. Actually, I'll just keep going. But I'm going to pause it because the pe the ones the people that are going to be just sticking it in, like the prior face I showed you with the beads. I don't think you're going to want to just sit through all of this. Why cut it? So I'm going to pause, and I'll be right back. Hi hey guys, I'm back. What I didn't want you to do is be waiting for me while I cut up. As you can see, I cut them all up. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just mix them all together. Um, what I wanted to show you too is what I found much easier. So here's the beads. What I did was, I found this much easier. Um, folded together like so. Um, and then just cut, you start off the bottom and you cut like the first, right, th right at the beginning, okay? You don't want it too far up. And then just, just cut every two, three. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go any more than three. But if you do, it's no big deal. And just continuously cut. And then when you're done, if you find extra long pieces in there, just pick them up and just trim them down. Just down here. I'm going too slow. Oh. So double it up. And then maybe two to three, just cut. And then the last piece is cut in half for two. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm gonna do is shake it up. See, now it's all mixed in. All this mixed in. I come across some big long pieces. I'm going to want to trim them. That's only four. It, it'll be okay, but I'm just going to cut that in half. Mix them really well. Like I said, you can have it. You could just put all your beads in like that, but I wouldn't put the same color on top of one another. You know, um, if you're going to use red, you don't put another red, you put red, green, you know, and just go up from there. And you could do it this way, or you can do it this way. That's the top. Really nice. Oops, got some of them on the craft pad here. Okay, so I'm mixing them. <laughs> Mix them all in. Okay, so then, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it in here. Careful the way you pour it in. I would put my, my um, hand around it so it doesn't fall off. And if it does, then you just press pick them up, put them in. 
Oops. And I did not know this was going to happen. I should have known. But see how when I cut it all up, as opposed to just sticking it in all together, because I did do that with this one and it worked fine. When you cut it up, obviously, it doesn't go all the way to the top. Now, excuse me while I look for some more beads. I'll be right back. I'll put it on pause. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so I filled it all up. I wanna show you again. Okay, so here's the difference between if you, you know, do it the easier way and just stuff them all in, you know, different colors all in a row. This is what it looks like. And you kind of have spaces in between. It looks good, but it doesn't look as good as this, I don't think. See this? Purples, the blues, green, reds. This looks much better, I think. But it's your own preference. Another thing I wanted to mention before I continue on. Um, see, when you do the bow, it's kind of plain and simple. Uh, if you want to put a little bead, you could always just cut off a little green bead like that. And then just do the hot glue right in the center. In the center, I won't put too much. Just enough to get the bead on. Oops. I don't know if this is working. Hold on, please. I'm going to put another clue stick in. Okay. Oh no, that's working. Ah, yeah, it's working. All right, so we're gonna put some glue there. Then we're gonna stick a bead. Careful you don't get burned. Very easy to do. Oops. You're gonna to wanna to get it on your face. Ah, I'm making a mess here. Okay, so. Just put the glue off. I don't want to do this. This is a no-no. I guess it's just easier to lay it down and start all over here. Glue off. I'll just get myself another bead. Might be easier. Or you can just peel the glue off. This can happen. You don't want it to. You get glue on in the front. All right. Don't want that to happen. If it does, you just scrape it off. Here we go. I can work on that later, but you kind of get the point. Let's see, I, I have some glue on the top that I'll just take off, scrape off later. Um, when you put the hot glue on, of course, you don't want to do what I do and end up getting in the front. So that's that one. That, I like the little green, little bead on the front there, okay. So now this one, I don't make the same mistake here. Okay, so what you do is, first of all, you're gonna just take a glue gun, put a little bit here in the middle, put a little bit here, and put some there. Somehow I did some the glue up there. I'm making a mess here. <laughs> and a little bit in the front, and then just take your ribbon, Wrap it around before it dries. Okay, then you're gonna just wanna make a knot here in the front. Just tie it, make a knot. Okay. Bear with me, please. Make these short, like I said before in other tutorials. Show little fat fingers in hand. It's not easy for me to do this sometimes. Okay. You get a little glue on the side, just scrape it off. You don't want that showing. You have enough underneath the ribbon. So when you position the ribbon, of course, you want to get it on the glue. And you just make sure it's not loose. And it's not. 
And then you're just gonna trim the, see what it looks like you tie a knot. So then you're just gonna trim the front. Close to the, where you tied it, but not too close, because you don't wanna cut into where you, you have it all tied in the knot there, see? And then you just take a ribbon, and you can use a bow, I'm sorry. You can use any color um, that you'd like. I'm just gonna see what this looks like with that. I think, because this has a red color tinge to it on the top. I think I like the green with the red, but what I'm gonna do is just see what they both look like. Try it out, let's see. No, I like the green in this case. So I twist it, the back, these bows come like this. So you just twist the back a little bit and then cut close to it, but not too close, but a half inch. Then you're gonna to wanna to fold that, fold that in, and then fold it again if you have to. Just look like that. Take your hot glue gun, because you're gonna to wanna to cover where, the, where you have the knot there, where you tied it. Okay, so just go like that, little bit of glue. Don't want too much again, because it'll be all over the place. And then just hold it for about 20 seconds or so, just make sure that it's glued on pretty well. Give it a little tap, see, that's what it looks like. Okay. You can even tip the bow a little sideways, whatever your preference is. Okay, so now the top, you don't want this, any of this falling out. So um, what I recommend is you're gonna wanna push this all the way down, your succum. Now you can put anything else in there if you'd like. Um, let me see if I have anything over here. Um, you know, you could put a little decorative floral or let's see if I got something here. Oh, here we go. See this? That was in one of my floral arrangements. Um, see how that would look if you put that in there? That looks pretty too. Put that down inside. You could do that. It's very pretty. But I like to suck them. So when they come in the Dollar Tree, you don't want to push that all the way down. Get your glue gun. And of course now I'm running out of glue. Okay, so when you do this, you're gonna wanna do in here as well because you need to seal the beads in there. You need to, so they don't fall out. And so you're gonna just put some glue there. Gotta get it before it dries. Put some glue in the stem on the bottom and all along. Oh, my glue gun's not working too well today. Just get that nicely. A lot of glue there. And then it starts to dry, just put more glue and stick it down. Push it all the way down, as low as you can go. There you go. It'll stick to the top like that and there you go that's what it looks like see now um okay so you have the one with the beads all cut up as i said and it's your preference and this is the other one which i still have to get the glue off the top of that and i will after just scrape it off with my fingers very lightly you don't want to pull on it and if it comes off the bead, of course, you would just re-glue it. But these are two different ones that are done. Okay. Oops, here we go. There. Okay, so those are the vases. And what I wanted to show you, I started another project the other day. 
And I'm just going to show you. It's very similar. It's just, this is what they call a, um, let's get the top here. I already started this one, but it's similar, exactly the same way as the vase. The beads are cut up in this one. This is what they call a disc uh, ornament. You get this at the Dollar Tree. Okay. Okay, and how I fill this, it's so much easier. There's some more beads in there, as you can see, but um, basically you just insert it like this into the cup. And if you're gonna have children doing this, I don't really recommend them cutting because they could cut their fingers, seriously. Um, but yourselves, I'm sure you won't. But um, I saved a few pieces because I wanted to show you, this is a little much more easier. You know, or, um, well, it's actually similar, the vase. But this one's in a cup because you need to hold it up so you can just, because you can't just cut and hold it with your hands. It could, but it'd be very awkward. So actually you can't. <laughs> what am I saying? You need both hands to cut this. So put it in a cup and then do every couple pieces. Just watch your hands, your fingers, don't chop them off. <laughs> okay. And if some fall out, that's okay, because it's going into the cup, the plastic cup here. You can get us a Dollar Tree. And cup up to there, so it's this size. Okay, push it down, pull it out. I do have a few pieces here, forgot about it. So, oh, that's too much. I'll use those for another time. Okay, so as you can see, I already tied the ribbon. And where the knot is, you're just gonna wanna put a bow. You're just gonna wanna glue a bow to it. So you don't see that. So like I said, you get these ornaments at the Dollar Tree. And you could do this with smaller ones, the plastic, larger ones, the round ones. Don't have to be a disc. Bulb could be round. Oops, careful when you put the cover back on. There you go. Squeeze that. All right, see? Let's see how pretty that is. And what I want to do now, you can put a green bow, red bow from these bows that I showed you earlier. And twist a little so it's the bow don't come apart. Twist it and bend one time forward and another time back. And then just trim it there. I'm going to want to just put some, lay this down, put some glue on this. Careful, don't get burned. I don't get it all over the place like I tend to do and just glue it in there. Just push that down on the front. Back is a little bit more difficult. There we go. And that's what it looks like when you're done. Okay? And then you, of course you can hang it on your tree or wherever. Um, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the class. And until next time, happy holidays and see you next year. Hi guys, um, I'm actually back again because there's a couple things I forgot to mention. Um, when I showed you this earlier, this bead, this uh, decorative little, it's made out of metal. Um, they sell at the Dollar Tree. I forgot to mention to you to put it at the top. So you're just gonna wanna glue that to the top. Your hot glue gun or just glue that. Forgot to mention that. Just gonna glue that. 
pressed down on it lately. Well, pressed down it firmly just so it sticks. And there we go. Um, that I forgot to mention. And another thing I failed to mention is on your ornament here, see on this side when we ended, it's just plain and simple. And, and that's okay with your bow. However, if you wanted to add some, uh, a word to it, like hope, or peace, whatever you like, a uh, person's name, um, as you can see, I did hope. Um, and I may have to go over it again because it's, it's not, let's see, I'll have to go over it again. Just in that second coat, actually it would be my third. That's okay. Okay, so this is what I use. It's a Sharpie and it's called Painter. And then it has P-E-I-N-T-U-R-E. -E. You can get this at Michael's. It's a Sharpie and it's oil paint. Um, so write any word you want uh, on the front of your ornament. And Okay, when you do use this, you're gonna to need to press down into a paper plate to make sure some of it, because you don't wanna press down on this. You gotta let it come out. As you can see, there's some paint there and I'm ready to go. And I'm just gonna write over it, make it stand out more. And if you think you're running out of paint, just dab it again. And you're gonna wanna get it to however dark you want, darkest, so. I don't recommend pressing down hard because you wanna fill all that paint in. Yeah. Okay, see, hope. Okay, so that's it. That's up to you if you want it um, without words or if you want it with words. I'm just gonna fill this in a little bit more. There we go. That's it. Okay, well, I'll see you next year. Ha happy holidays, bye-bye.